OK, let's examine a technique for quickly squaring integers that end in 5. Now please note that this technique works for all integers that end in 5, such as these, but it does not work for numbers that do not end in 5. Now to show how this works, we'll begin with 25 squared. The technique is as follows. First take the number in front of the 5, in this case the number is 2, then multiply 2 by the number that is 1 greater than 2. In other words, multiply 2 by 3. When we do this, we get 6, which we'll write down here. From here, just add 25 to the end, and we're done. 25 squared is equal to 625. Now let's evaluate 75 squared. First take the number in front of the 5, in this case the number is 7, then multiply 7 by the number that is 1 greater than 7. In other words, multiply 7 by 8. When we do this, we get 56, which we'll write down here. Now add 25 to the end, and we're done. 75 squared is equal to 5625. So the technique is as follows. First, let n be the number before the 5. Then write the product of n and n plus 1 and then add 25 to the end. Okay, let's try 45 squared. First, take the number in front of the 5, which is 4, then multiply 4 by the number that is 1 greater than 4. In other words, multiply 4 by 5 to get 20. We now write 20 down here, and add 25 to the end. So 45 squared is equal to 2025. Please note that this technique also works on larger numbers. For example, to evaluate 105 squared, we first take the number in front of the 5, which is 10, then we multiply 10 by 11 to get 110, finally we write the product here and add 25 to the end. So 105 squared is equal to 11,025. And that is a quick way to square numbers ending in 5.